Welcome to today's episode of the Battery Masters podcast, which is your guide to becoming an expert in battery technology. I'm your host, Akshay Gill, and today we're going to be covering the effect of voltage polarization. Voltage polarization is observed in lithium ion cells, and it causes a change in closed circuit voltage as opposed to the open circuit voltage of the cell. So first, let's understand what is open circuit voltage and closed circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage is when there is no load or charger that is connected to the cell. And in other words, when there is no current flowing in or out of the cell's terminals. Closed circuit voltage is when there is a load or charger connected to the cell. The, the voltage observed at the cell's terminals at this time is the closed circuit voltage. Now that we understand open circuit and closed circuit voltage, let's take an example to understand what voltage polarization is and what that effect does to these two types of voltages. So let's say we have a lithium ion cell that is sitting at 3.5 volts. The cell has not been in a discharge or a charging state for the past 20 to 30 minutes. In other words, it's been at rest for the past 20 to 30 minutes. At this time, if I were to take a voltmeter or a multimeter and observe the voltage at the cell's terminals, it would read, for this example, 3.5 volts. So in this case, 3.5 volts is the open circuit voltage or OCV of the cell. Now I'm going to put the cell through a discharge cycle. For that, let's say I've connected a load to the cell's terminals and now the cell is discharging at 1 amp. Now when 1 amp of current is flowing out of the cell's terminal, now if I take a voltmeter or a multimeter to observe the uh, voltage at the terminals of the cell, what I would see is that the voltage drops to 3.3 volts. 3.3 volts in this case now is the closed circuit voltage, CCV. So the CCV is different than the OCV and there's a difference of 200 millivolts. This is governed by the internal resistance of the cell and the current that is exiting the cell's terminal, which in turn depends on the load that you have connected. The effect of voltage polarization causes the difference between OCV and C CCV, in this case the 200 millivolts, but what is interesting is that even after now disconnecting the load, say the 1 amp load has been disconnected, because of voltage polarization, the, the, the closed circuit voltage is not going to instantaneously snap back to the open circuit value. It's going to take time to converge back to the OCV value. So in this case, taking the example back, what I would see if I disconnect the load is that the closed circuit voltage goes from 3.3 to 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, slowly increases and converges to 3.49 or 3.48. Now in this case, if someone were to ask you, how much charge has exited the cell's terminals? What you have over here is you have the difference in voltages. So one way of doing it would be you minus 3.5, which was your starting voltage, and you subtract 3.3 volts, which was your closed voltage, closed circuit voltage when the one amp load was connected. In this case, you would get a difference of 200 millivolts. Using this difference to calculate the amount of charge that has exited is incorrect because you are using a loaded voltage or a polarized voltage of the cell. What you have to do is you have to wait for the cell's voltage to converge back to the open circuit value. This is the way to do this would be to wait at least 20 to 30 minutes after you put that cell through a discharge cycle for the voltage, the closed circuit voltage to converge back to the open circuit voltage value. So what you will observe in this type of an example is that the voltage converges back to say 3.48 volts. This now, the difference, 3.5 minus 3.48, which is 0.02 volts or 20 millivolts, 
is the change in voltage that was observed by putting the cell through the discharge cycle and this is the difference what can be used to, con uh, to calculate the amount of charge that has exited the cell because of the discharge cycle. A similar phenomena is observed when charging the cell and it's very similar to the way it was observed in discharging the cell. What you need to remember is that the closed circuit voltage will be greater than the open circuit voltage when you are charging the cell and the closed circuit voltage will be less than the open circuit voltage when you are discharging the cell. In both cases, the closed circuit voltage, after you remove the load or the charger, it'll take time to converge back to the open circuit value. So in order to compute the amount of charge that has exited or entered the cell based on voltage, you will have to wait for the voltage polarization effect to minimize uh, and the voltage to converge back to the open circuit value. So this is the effect of voltage polarization and we have taken the example to observe how we can get around the effect to properly calculate the amount of charge that has exited based on a voltage reading. This is also in other words termed as calculating state of charge based on voltage. So today we covered the effect of voltage polarization in lithium ion cells and we saw that how it, um, how it affects the voltage, the open circuit voltage and the closed circuit voltage uh, when you're putting it through a discharge or a charging cycle and what you need to do to properly calculate the state of charge after a discharge or a charge cycle. So thanks for tuning in. This is Akshay Gill and you are listening to the Battery Masters podcast.